Hello, this is Mr. Blaze with another great tech tip of the week. This week's tech tip goes out to Storyboard That. It's a great comic, graphic novel sort of creation site, and it's really fun. And the best part about it, it is free to use. So you go to get there, type in Storyboard That. Select here. Now I'm already in, logged in. You can log in with a Google account, which is another great reason to use this site, simplify logins. Select create a storyboard. Now, to get started, the first thing I want you to um, understand is the layout. Um, up top, you'll see different tabs, and there are sub tabs within them. You have scenes, characters, Sorry, go back to scenes. Within the scenes, you have town, all sorts of different towns, entertainment, going out, inside and outside. You have home, indoor, home, outdoor, school, transportation, classical homes, country, rustic, outdoor, mythical, futuristic, close-ups phones, and patterns. Now, the next one is characters. Now here you can see again subcategories. Adults, teens, 1600s, 1800s, medieval, cultural, mythology, silhouettes, like background crowds, stickies, like stick figures, and animals. You can upload but make sure um, that you choose images carefully. Going back to scenes, we go to uh, the next tab over textables. Textables are your speech bubbles. This is where you can add these in to create a, um, a like a voice for your character. In, you can choose action, like comic book novel, right? Shapes, decorative, banners, to go over signs, objects, and actual signs. You have different shapes you could add, infographics, web and wireframes, science, worksheets, and again, you can upload your own. So let's say we start off with, uh, we'll do a sport. I like outdoors, so I'm gonna go to outdoor and let's say we choose a scene like a mountain scene let's say right here you drag it and let it go and it fills the entire cell within this cell what you can do you can change the scene you have the sky colors and you can add custom colors within there as well if you wanted a red sky orange sky um, so you could also select edit scene. Now within this scene option, you have the option of choosing nighttime, rain, sunset, daytime. So you can do a sunset during the daytime. Now, once you have that, if you wanted to duplicate this, you could copy it to another scene if you'd like. Or control Z to undo or just exit out. Other options you have, if you can rotate the scenes around, you could flip them upside down. You can rotate them that way as well. You could also add uh, layers. You know, if you have something in the back and you want to make a person look like they're on the front of something, you can adjust the layers. You can also crop and you can also stretch it to fill. You can also apply different filters such as color, grayscale, sepia. You can remove the color to make it black and white. Control Z to undo. Um, blur, make it look like it's in the background, out of focus. You could also select uh, diffuse light. See like a beveled edge. Last option, you get a nice soft focus too. 
gives it a neat look. So um, you also have pen, pencil. And you also have a marker as well as remove color. So I'm just going to undo and get back to default. And there we go. Now what you're going to do is realize you will have a watermark on all of your storyboards for the free versions. For the free versions, you are allowed only two storyboards per week as well as only three or six cells. These are squares are called cells. Now let's say we want to add a another scene in here. I'm going to do another outdoor scene. We're going to choose this one here. I'm just going to drag it down and let go. And then we'll do kind of this scene here. So now we have our scenes laid out. Now we want to add more cells. You could just go ahead and select add cells and then select three by two. So we're getting two rows of three. That's as many as you can get for free. If you need more, you'll have to purchase the uh, premium account. Select update. And now we could add more to uh, more stories or more cells to and images to our stories. And here we go. So now we have all of our backgrounds in. The next thing we're going to work on is adding in our characters. I'm going to go ahead and add an adult in here. See if we could find one with a beard, because I have a nice beard, nice mountain man here. Now let's say we want to make him appear like he's just kind of in the edge of the scene and you want to crop him. So first thing I do is I'm going to give him the way I want. You can change the hair to black skin. I'm probably about this color skin. Eyes, brown, shirt. We're going to go ahead and change that to a blue. Pants, maybe some khakis, or maybe green, or grayish green. Okay? And I could change the shoe. I like the brown shoes. Now, again, you can choose the same filters as you did before. Um, but another thing you can do is kind of edit the pose. Like, let's have him waving. Like, he's happy, holding. You can do a default preset pose. Um, well, let's see if we can have him look like he's maybe waving. That's pretty good. I'm going to select update pose. You could change the faces, the head tilts if you want. And now I'm going to crop him. So I only have his upper half. Select crop. You can have other options here. Circular crops, advanced crops. I'm just going to crop the image. And now here, we just have him look kind of like he's in front of the scene like that. Now I'm going to um, I'm going to duplicate this guy because I'm going to use him again. But let's say I go to the crop and I kind of undo that crop now. And now we're back to the full character. Say we wanted to have him look like he was struggling, we could edit the pose. And maybe he is a little bit kind of worried here. Maybe he's lying down. Um, let's see if we can get him lying down. Oh, sleeping. Here we go. Maybe he's upset, though. He's, he's crying. Update pose. And now we're just going to go ahead and kind of rotate him around. Like he's floating down the river, scared. And now we have a couple of characters, and again, we could duplicate him again. So that's I like to work in phases and getting the backgrounds done, then each character done. And this is how you would do that. He's just walking, update the pose, make him like he's further away here. Okay, now that we have a few characters in our scene, what we're going to do is add some textables. And I like to add the, um, the speech bubbles here. Just go ahead and add in like he's saying something.
welcome to the Adirondacks. And you can change the font within here if you want. The default is uh, Francois 1, but you can change it to anything that you like. You can also change the color of the font, uh, white background, and all of that. Um, highlight, you can see all your text options. Now, if I like this, I'm going to duplicate this. And I could just go ahead and type in help here. And maybe change the font style. Make it look like it's really urgent. You can even enlarge it if you'd like. I'm going to change the font size to. And then again, you could come over here and add one more. You can choose a different one. Let's say we choose this one because it's on this side. Add some captioning. Be careful you don't grab that. And you could see you, could, you could would just continue adding text to get things going to finish your story off. Now, once you're all done, what you can do is you could change the layout of your storyboard. Sell only portrait, worksheets, top chart, T chart, spider map. You can update all of those in here as well. But what all I'm concerned is is making sure to save it. Just realize it will prompt you to save, but that you want to click save about every cell that you finish. So I'm going to click save. Um, if it was not for an assignment, give it a title. The outdoors. Give a description if you want. Click save. And here we go. You can then go ahead and print or download or share to um, with your teacher. This works great with Google Classroom as well. Well, I hope that you've learned a lot from Storyboard That and definitely check it out and share it with your friends to help your friends learn how to use Storyboard That, a great tool for school and or for teachers or anyone else. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe.